we're going to make the agros plugs to measure pH and conductivity of a surface of a work of art. We're going to use benchmark agarose, uh, electrophoretic grade, so it's high purity, low conductivity. We're going to make four percent solution. So we take 100 mils of water, plus or minus the amount isn't critical, place it into a plastic container, because when we cook in the microwave, we will not want to um, handle a glass container, because it gets very hot. We'll measure out four grams of the agarose. and mix that into the deionized or distilled water. It's best to cook it in a microwave. Current thought is that it's best to cook it twice. So it goes into the microwave. And first we do 30 seconds on high. We take it out, it's just starting to get warm. Give it a quick stir to make sure everything's uniform and well dispersed. And then thereafter we do it in 10 second increments until it reaches boiling point. You have to be very careful because the agarose can superheat and um, bump, so it can boil over very quickly, and you don't want to get boiling agarose on your hand. It's starting to get warm now, and starting to thicken up. So we'll do another 10 seconds. It's getting quite warm, thickening very nicely. When, it's, when it boils, it tends to foam up like a souffle and can come up to that height. So you always want to use a plastic container that is uh, well above the height of the liquid that you're heating. Another 10 seconds. And you can see it has foamed up and is now coming back down. So very carefully, not touching where the liquid is, we remove it, stir. I'm going to give it one more five second pulse. Now we'll let this cool and gel, and then we'll melt it again using the same process. So we've let it cool, and we're heating it up again, melting it again. It seems um, the agarose performs better if it's cooked twice, both for treatment and for better clarity of the gel. So here we have it melted again. You have a choice at this point of adding a preservative or not. Without the preservative, it will be a wonderful medium for mold to grow. With the preservative, you have to wash the preservative out before using it for measurement. So we're going to add preservative 
We're going to add four drops of Germaben 2. And stir. And then we'll pour it into the macaroon molds. I prefer to use thicker plugs of agarose. And some people use very thin. We let the agarose cool in the macaroon mat. So now that the agarose is cooled, we can just pop it out of the, the mold and put it into a plastic bag. We don't want to touch the agarose with our fingers because there are salts on the fingers. This is the fun part. And then just use tweezers to pick them up. And put them in the bag. So they're in the bag. Because we've added the Germaban, they won't grow mold for quite a while. You want to keep as little air in the bag as possible because uh, they will lose moisture slowly and dry out.